Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me again today. Today we will be continuing our SDL tutorial and today we are going to learn about key states if you couldn't tell by the title. Even though I haven't made the title yet. Anyways, so this right here is garbage. So let me go to Josh um, Documents Visual Studio 2010 Projects SDL tutorial our debug and we get in here and we press WASD but notice we can't like you know move at a diagonal we we it's only single axis movement it's it's extremely uh we can't move at a diagonal it's not like a free roam because of this um we can only move at a single axis at a time and it makes things like it doesn't look very good in my opinion i do not like it so what we are going to do is we are going to use key states what is a key state well a key state when you check its value just tells if the key is up or down so you know true if it's down up if it's false if it's up <laughs> sorry there but in but in SDL's case it's not gonna be um uh boolean it's not gonna be true or false it's gonna be an unsigned 8 bit integer variable um yeah I, th I think that's it you went and it's gonna return an array so and the function we're gonna use to gather the key states will return on an array of these so we're just gonna get rid of all this crap right here so all we have left in our main game loop is our main application loop is uh, while running equals two uh, check to see if we quit and then update the screen so what we're gonna do is our key states here so we got rid of our up down key, key down event so we're gonna do a uint 8 unsigned 8 bit integer and key states is what we'll call it key states equals SDL get key states I think get key state and then int num keys we'll just put a null there that'll return the entire array of the keyboard so this returns our keyboard array and what it'll return is null and each uh each variable in the array will correspond to a key and this is really nice so if key states SDLK W huh, if I can type correctly if key states SDLKW so if the SDLKW is not null if it's pressed down what what are we gonna do well first we're gonna move our player so our his offset offset dot X will not dot Y minus equal one since the keys upset since the screen uh, since zero zeros in the uh, upper left hand corner not the lower left hand will be minus in. so if key states SDL KWA uh, offset dot X will minus equal one I think yep and then I'm just gonna copy and paste these two for uh, the other two so so instead of W, it'll be A, it'll be S, and D, and so for S, these are both be changed to plus equals, S counters. So we're going to build this with F7. So, woo, do, 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 build successful, come over here. And now we're going to be able to move diagonally, unlike our last one. See, look at that, we can move diagonally, pretty slick. So, so... To, this tutorial was really about like key states you know it improves the movement of our little guy around the screen and uh, it, it makes this application a heck of a lot more slick and uh, as I said before key states are just whether the keys down or up you, there's more to it than that but I think the best way to remember it is that way uh, the key states whether it's down or up because like when you get to like async key state with like the win function it'll return all kinds of weird values but uh this is this is pretty much it it's good I like it and it's uh said that's tutorial tutorial. I'll see you guys next time.